Hi all, Mike here with CineSamples, and this is it. This is the Cinebrass update. Uh, this is the big one. Uh, we spent probably close to a year on this update, and it's been all hands on deck for the past four months just, just working on this thing and getting it to be at the level uh, that it should be at. So we're really excited about this release. Um, and so in this video, I'm going to go through the Cinebrass Core library. In the next one, I'll, I'll go through the, the Cinebrass Pro library. So first, uh, what's new in this update? Well, first of all, the main thing is uh, we have a whole new interface here, which matches our other two uh, series, which is the CineWinds and the CinePerk library. So now we kind of have everything has a coherent look to it. And... We have the mixer presets, which wasn't in the original Cinebrass. And then we have greater flexibility over the mapping engine. And then in the settings page, um, we have a whole bunch of cool little uh, effects that you can add, as well as control uh, over the round robin and the release trigger, release delay, sample start. Uh, and the Legato engine has um, a speed control and a volume control so you can independently control the two different variables from two faders on your uh, on your MIDI keyboard and then some of the main sort of under the hood tweaks were intonation across the board we made sure we went pitch by pitch and made sure everything was perfectly in tune uh, and also um, the other thing that was important to what you guys wanted was sort of a leveling between the staccatos the short articulations and the sustains so now everything is is at a good and equal level so when you're switching between the different articulations it should really uh they should sit nicely with one another and it really works out a lot better uh so that's really the main it was a lot of work doing all of this and then we had just a laundry list of things based on a lot of your feedback just little subtle tweaks and enhancements and stuff so we think we really took a library that was already quite good and uh and, and made it made it better. So this whole library is uh, this whole update is a free update on our website. So just go there. Now we also have a special bonus. Well, you probably just want me to get to playing the instrument, but I have to get through this. Be patient. Um, the other thing we have is two additional patches. So we went back to Sony and we re well not re-recorded, but recorded a whole new patch called the Two Horn Ensemble Articulations. Because the one thing that was missing in core was, for the horns anyway, we had a solo horn, but then we had a six horn patch and there was no middle ground. So it's really hard to play chords with a six horn patch and doing chords with solo horn is not quite as realistic. So the two horn patch was the solution and it really turned out great. And we actually learned a lot of things about legato and how that reacts at Sony and and applied that to this new patch. So you see the legato on this is is quite good. All right. Um, now, for those of you who don't even have Cinebrass, uh, I'm going to do just a general walkthrough of all of the patches that are now available in this version 1.5. So here we go. This is the trumpet ensemble articulations. So I have it set to the velocity map. So the harder you press, the longer the note's going to be. And the dynamics of the, the timbre, the timbral dynamic is controlled by mod. Right? And then um, on all of the patches now, we have the uh, double tongue, triple tongue feature, um, which... If you hold down this low, if you can see here, this low C sharp, it will re-trigger on the release of the key, right? And then the triple tongue will do two re-triggers depending on the length of time that you hold it down and release. So I think that's a real helpful feature for doing re repetitive uh, note writing because it you know, get really hard to 
try to play something like that. So that's the trumpet ensemble articulations. Okay, uh, and then for each articulation patch, we split out the true legato. Um, but the true legato patch is already in the articulations patch, so you don't really need to load the true legato. We just do that as sort of a convenience for composers who like to have those things separate. But you can load up just this one. And if you hold down the sustain pedal in the articulations patch, it turns into a legato patch. This is now in legato mode. I got the pedal down, right? Right? The other thing that, that I didn't quite mention in my other videos is that the legato that we have is, is not just, a, it's, it's a polyphonic legato. So you can do multiple lines, right? Right, or you can do chords like. So then each note has its own little legato transition. The script figures out, okay, you're playing a triad, and then you move to another triad, and it will say, okay, the middle note of that triad needs to have a transition that moves to the middle note of that next triad. So it's a really very smart script. Um, and uh, special thanks to Greg Schleffer for developing it. It works really well. Okay, moving on. Uh, I'll skip the true legato because that was the same thing. Uh, solo trumpet, true legato. Okay. Now in the core library, this is really just for writing um, expressive and legato writing. Uh, the full articulation patch is in the pro library. It's just a beautiful tone. I'm going to just go through this quickly because a lot of this is redundant from the other video. Okay, two horn ensemble articulations. This is the brand new patch. It's all new samples, okay? Uh, so this is exactly that, two horns. Got shorts. And it's really great to do little like tight chords. And the legato sounds like this. And we learned a lot of things. Um, this is uh, so this was sampled after we hired Sam Estes, and he came in and taught us a few things about how to properly do this. And um, when you're doing horns, there's this point where the horn starts to buzz. You want to make sure you sample that uh, because when if you don't, then you're not going to get a nice smooth sort of transition from double piano to triple forte. Otherwise, you get sort of this overlap of super buzzy stuff with like warm, nice stuff. And then it's this weird middle ground that just you can't crossfade. So now you see it's like it's quite it's quite smooth and, and pretty and nice. The true legato, same thing. Okay, this is the uh, an update to the horns ensemble articulations. This is six horns, and this one needed some work, no doubt. Um, in the other one, there were a couple of things. Uh, the the main issue was sort of the transitions between the notes at the highest velocity, because I'll tell you why. Um, when we sampled it, and this was our first library, so we, you know, we learned a lot of things since then, but. When we sampled it, we we did the transitions at a low dynamic, and then we did it at a forte dynamic, or tri a double forte, which didn't quite have that buzz that the highest sustain had. So when you're trying to transition from those uh, those uh, legato transitions that are non-buzzy to a buzzy one, it doesn't quite work. But we found a workaround, and we fixed it, and I think it's a lot, lot better now. So here is, uh, let me uh, 
Record enable the proper track. Okay. Here's a lower dynamic. the articulations. And just for fun, here is uh, sort of the ambient microphone position on this. Uh, this is just the surround mics with uh, a lot of reverb. Just for fun, here's the close. Actually, I'll just click the preset. Here's the close one. This kind of has an old school uh, movie quality to it. I don't know, you might want that sound. All right, let's move on. Here's the solo horn in Cinebrass Core. That's just a wonderful tone. All right, let's move on. Here's the trombone ensemble articulations. Now this one needed uh, quite a bit of work in the intonation area. Uh, you see everything is a lot, uh, Just you can tell it's in tune now. It's way better. Tuba plus bass trombone articulations. Same thing. This had some uh, intonation issues as well as the sort of the volume balance issues, which has now been corrected. I particularly like this one for, for kind of low warm kind of chords. Good when you layer that with some like consordino strings and stuff. Chimbasso plus bass trombone. Right? This is good for you know you write an action an action cue. You just layer this stuff on top of your percussion and your cue is done. Uh, let's get that going. Here it is. There it is. The highest dynamic. So again, a lot of intonation um, uh, improvements on that. Now, trumpet ensemble effects. That one was uh, pretty good last time around. No major uh, changes to that one. Um, 
by the way, everything is, uh, the goal was to not, we didn't want to change everything too much because you want to be able to load up your old sequences and still use these new samples and, uh, and that will still be possible, which is a good thing. rips and then the low brass pad patch and the low brass pad patch so down here you have kind of like it's a really nice warm sound and uh if you bring the mod wheel all the way up it doesn't go to that triple forte it's like a nice sort of mezzo forte not quite a forte you know Good for accompanying melodies and, and stuff. Right? So there you go. This is the uh, the 1.5 update to Cinebrass, which is a free update. Just go to our website at cinesamples.com and then uh, follow the instructions and get your free update. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, we really hope you like it. This was a lot of work, and uh, we hope you uh, you get a lot of good use out of it. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.